Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 3rd of March 2025, I hope you are keeping well and uh, a bit more energetic than I am today. I've done nothing today and I've just been lazing around and even though I ha do have things that I should be doing, I just can't get the energy together today to do any of them. Um, I'll try later. Get, 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 got to slap myself around the face and get working. People who don't have to uh, be slapped around the face to get working are doctors in the UK. Uh, the NHS is reporting, though, that their lack of sleep and their just general overwork has caused 35% of respondents uh, in a survey to state that they overwork and their lack and their you know generally not being able to sleep enough uh, has is affecting their quality of work. So actually having an, an, an impact on the work that they do. Uh, unsurprising, I think, lack of sleep uh, um, can bother all of us, does bother all of us. Affects people in different ways, of course. Some people uh, manage to ward it off and uh, can sleep for a long time and then kind of get back to normal. But some people have real difficulty in uh, dealing with this kind of stuff. So... Uh, it's time surely for the government to declare the UK government to declare some kind of emergency and not worry about their immigration laws and get and employ as many doctors as possible and really just spend so much money on the NHS. It just needs to be invested in properly. Um, money needs to be spent hand over fist and don't worry about the people, the naysayers in the uh, right wing who say we can't afford it or anything like that. You have to be able to afford it. It's the most important uh, department in anywhere in the UK, I think, the NHS. So, um, I know it's not a department, but you know, the department that deals with it is the NHS is the most important institution, let me say. See, I told you I'm not really thinking straight this morning. It's not even morning, it's afternoon already. I haven't done anything. I'm going nowhere. Shall I play a game of Sudoku and stop this stuff? Because my uh, brain is obviously not working. Might be a good idea if I can get moving a little bit with this. Right, let's go then. This is the LA Times expert level puzzle. I'm going to start with a five in this square here. We've got one up and one down and one up. See, I don't even know up and down and one across there. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare coming here. Uh, two, blocking those two squares there, that's going to give me a two up there. This is one and four, four blocking there, there's the four, there's the one. Fortunately, the other games today have been pretty easy, so I haven't be, had to try thinking at all, really. So, no thinking involved in Sudoku today. That's the kind of day I need. Uh, two across here and two up there. Two across this way and down here. One and three across there, one and three across there. So we do have a pair of one and three in those squares. Does it give me anything else? No, because we just there's nothing else surrounding it that is not one, three, or two, or nine, or a number that we already have in here. So I don't think it's, that's very useful, is it? But maybe we go back in that direction. It might be okay. One and three we've got. We're looking for two, seven, eight, nine. No, we're not. We're looking for... Four, seven, eight, nine. The fours are over there. Seven. That's a pair of eight and nine in this square. Three up there is okay, though. And down here. <coughs> I 
I think we're looking for three, four, five, nine across here. Three, four, five, nine. Yeah, three, four, and five are in that block already, so that's going to be a nine. Seven blocks these two squares, so in that column there's our seven. Four and nine down here, I think. Four blocking down there, there's a four. <coughs> now we've got something because we have one and three in those squares, if you remember. And now we've got the four blocking across there, so that has to be a four. And five in one of these two squares blocking across there, five across there, there's five. Uh, the last number to get here is a number between one and nine. Six. Okay. This has to be eight and nine, so down there we're looking for a two. Uh, up there is seven across there, so seven in that square, and this is a six, and down here is eight, I think, and left there are four and nine. Okay. I think this is four five seven eight four five seven eight four five seven eight yes and four five and eight already attack that square so that's going to be a seven Okay, missing digits in this row are 6, 8, and 9, and we've got 8 and 9 together, so that will be our 6. Six down here, six across there for a six. something over here six and two down here so that's six and two in those squares so these squares can't be six or two they must be one and four so one blocks up here and one blocks across there that means that has to be a one now we learned before one and three in those squares so three across there gives me three in that square
we do have the possibility for a unique rectangle we've got three and we got so, sorry five, oh no five and seven in those squares seven blocking there there's the seven there's the five and so in these squares we've got eight nine so that's eight nine for sure it also oh, strange noise it also means that that can't be eight or nine so we could just check one two three no I think it could be four or seven couldn't it so we won't worry about that no completed digits yet nothing in this block down here yet Five up here puts five into that square. Five across here, across there, and up here gives me five in that square. And finally, we get something down here. And this could actually be a completed digit as well. Yes, all right. Uh, five. So this is four, eight. Um, so we've got four in one of these two squares right here and that means we can't have fours in those squares four also blocks that square four blocks that square and four blocks that square so that has to be the four now and then four blocking up here and across there means that's a four three up here and across there there's our three and uh, three down, down, and across, and across there gives me three in that square, and three across there, and there makes that a three. So we've got eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, and we've got eight, nine here, eight, nine here. So this is not eight or nine. So seven blocking there, that means that's going to be a seven, and this will be a two. two across this way and down here there's our two uh, what was the other number down there six blocking down there there's the six six across across and down two three five six are finished let's click on what we still need then one down here and one across there gives me one there, one across there. There's the one. This would be a four. Sorry for not sounding super energetic today. I just can't get it together. Four in that square. Um, eight in that square, wasn't it? And here we are looking for nine. Nine up there, there's a nine, nine across there, there's a nine, there's the eight, there's the eight up there. Eight down here and up there for an eight in this square, that's a nine, that's an eight. Right, and this is another nine. And the nine blocking up gives nine in that square, and we finish with seven. Okay, so fortunately for me, no really tough games today, because I just don't <laughs> have the energy to play them. Are we... Will I be back? In the, yeah, I'll probably be back in the evening. I should be really doing things without a time limit, mind you, but, you know, stuff to be doing, right? Beginning of the month. And, uh, but I'll be back at least, if I don't come back in the evening, I'll be back tomorrow and more with more energy, I think. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.